All right, so you know what? I think I finally figured out how I'm um, going to approach this. I, I wanted to, um, like I've mentioned time and time again, uh, I wanted to do like a deluxified version of this at some point. And yes, um, the inner... Uh, uh, the intellectual property, like the whole nine yards of this game uh, belongs to Excalibur Games. So it's not like a, you could plagiarize or whatever, uh, like I couldn't just pop this out or whatever. It was never my intent anyways. However, I was thinking about it. I was like, I, I just wanted to frame it or, or make it a bit more, like I said, so I can get into a deadline and make it a bit more that way and more of a practice. It's always been uh, for me to try to practice uh uh, just doing uh, a lot of this stuff. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm pretending, like I said, this is just pretend land, and, but I'm doing it for real, if you know what I mean. But the, how it, uh, like why I'm doing it uh, is what I'm saying. So I'm pretending that uh, Spence and Gable have come to me and said, you know what, uh, we've designed this game and uh, can you develop this game for, 20, for the 21st century and have it published? And uh, can you? And I'm going to say, yep. Um, let's do this. Uh, and that's the beauty of it is the fact that since I'm going from design to development and publishing, I don't have to use uh, everything verbatim, like the title of the game, uh, all kinds of things, like a gazillion things. So, so it, that that to me, right off the bat, I'm like, okay, that gives me a, a good another thing to uh, put a frame around and so on and so forth, as well as a hard deadline. I'm going to go with May 1st. I'm even going to pretend that, um, uh, you know, they're sending out, uh, uh, I don't know what you would call it, pre-orders, but no money. I'm not taking your money yet, but uh, I know well, I never would, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, that uh, Like uh, like I said, this is how I'll pretend, like the, the business side of it or whatever. I'm just learning how, I just want to learn how to do this stuff. Oh, and on a side note, though... <laughs> I no longer have a complete copy of the original uh, Tannenberg, uh, Spence and Gable. I have a, an original, I have a complete copy of the Excalibur Games one. But I mean, obviously, I would like to have a complete copy of the real one. I'm missing one counter. <laughs> I lost it at Game Games. So I'm like, oh, damn you to hell. I'm looking around I'm like, no, it's gone, man. Someone swept that up and it's off into Wonderland. I wonder, I was thinking about it afterwards. I was like, imagine um, that would be an interesting Can Games game. Oh, or any convention game. If somebody could collect all the crazy uh, counters. Oh, oh, sorry. One of those little jumping spiders. Where are you? Sorry. I, I, they're just so cool. Um, anyways, um, imagine collecting all the counters that somebody found and try to make some kind of crazy game out of it. Uh, that would be neat. Well, I, I would think it would be neat. Anyways, yeah, so that's this is the way I'm going to do uh, go about it. I'm pretending that I'm uh, going to develop and publish this game and have it out the door, at least the first copy, um, by May 1st. So this is the prototype that Spence and Gable have sent me. And um, off I go. That's the way I'm looking at it. Okay, hope you're having a great time. Bye.